these questions, but this is the last category. I'm going to put it in the drawing near to God category. These questions are, how do I grow closer to Jesus Christ? What kind of Bible reading should I be doing on an everyday basis? What would make my prayer life not feel so boring? Uh, these, are, these are the kind of questions. Let's just give some final words related to drawing near to the Lord every single day. Well, I, I think even in the question is the answer. The very fact that you're reading the Bible is, yeah. is a good thing. And, and you can read the Bible with excitement and anticipation, or you can read it like it's a boring piece of literature. Um, the Bible says, draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. What in the world does that mean? If I were to just sum it up in as brief a time as possible, Go for it. it would be the, the passage of Scripture that says, come to me, all you who labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Yeah. It, the, the answer to almost every single question about drawing near is summed up in that simple phrase, yeah. go to Jesus. I love it. Come near to me, draw near to me. In order to draw near to Jesus, sometimes you have to walk away from other things like the television yeah. or even the radio, but not from four to six, Monday through Friday. <laughs> no, no, you can, if you have to turn it off, turn it off. But that's where you're going to f find the answer. So how do you draw near? Just like you draw near to anyone else that you love and you care about, you have to show up yeah. and then be with them. I love it. And I love in Matthew 11 where it says that. It says also, he says he is gentle and lowly in heart. And one of the things that's a comfort to me is as I do draw near to him, while he does say, come to me who are weary, he's gentle, right? He doesn't beat us over the head and say, you haven't responded, you haven't been present. Uh, so anyway, it's sweet.